hi guys welcome back to my channel it's again Taurus if you didn't know now you know you don't know is this scene is this scene so today we are going to do turn ons and turn offs because you know sometimes we do a little creative content on my channel even though my channel is basically a vlogging channel from time to time I do some creative content I also have a lot of other creative contests coming in in a, few, in a couple of weeks I need people to get to film these videos but anyhow today we're going to get into the video and you know let me get into the turn on and turn on let me see you know? so they're going to know my little better my first turn on will be traveling and on the whole I basically like to travel so traveling is definitely definitely a turn on for me basically because who doesn't like going places or anything like that another turn on is definitely the beach i love going to the beach like if you have watched my previous vlogs you will see that at a point in time i did vlogs like every two minutes i was by the beach because the beach is not saying the beach is you know like a little peaceful place where i can you know get away from certain things the other thing is driving at night. Driving at night on long drives, like you know, because sometimes you need to you need to drive by yourself, you know, to maintain a little peace of mind, especially if you're stressed out or you just want to you know have a little one-on-one -on -one time with yourself. Definitely driving at night. The other one is bacon. Definitely, I like to eat, right? And then certain things I like to be, especially like sponge cake and them kind of thing. I love sponge cake. I like to make puff. All right. Well, I like to make cheesecake, but I don't really eat that. You don't know, I don't eat anything. But I like those stuff. And pastry and cinnabon. You know how much I cinnabon? Twenty five dollars, yo. When I can make a whole pan of cinnabon. No, 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 no. CN High Maintenance Dogs. What I mean by this is like Belgian Malinois, Rottweiler, Pet Bulls, like these are the dogs I genuinely, genuinely like. Like these are the dogs I own. I hardly own a common dog. Alright, so a common dog in general will mostly be a, 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 a potong. <laughs> a potong basically a pumpek. Them little fairy things that like to be running about in here. <laughs> house i don't like i shouldn't say i don't like the dogs but i prefer the high maintenance dog right now i own a belgian malano very stressful animal but and very neat like very high maintenance because he is needs attention and you know so but at the end of the day that's the dogs i like so you know i do roll with what i have another thing is good food who doesn't like so when I mean my good food I mean like you find out that it has some food truck some way and you go and you eat the food it tastes good it was worth its money like right now honestly I want to go it have this place in South I've been dying to go but nobody nobody I want to go nowhere every Every time you ask somebody to go somewhere, everybody is busy, which is understandable. I'm an understanding person, but what I'm saying is that, oh gosh, let me go and eat some food on a, on a big Wednesday. I don't know about a Wednesday, but let me go somewhere, find a little food spot, eat buy a little something. If you have no money, I go sponsor you. If I have no money, sponsor me now. Gosh. That next thing to we go get into that we go get into that we get we get we coming we coming to turn off just now we coming we coming soon. Another turn one is definitely new restaurants. Tracking back to good food. Good food is like was with food trucks and people selling food on the roadside. Good restaurants. I love a good restaurant, especially if. It only had three stars, but the food good. The most important thing, the food good, the ambience good, and the employees have 
good customer service. All right, and that's, that for me makes a perfect restaurant, if we be honest. And these days I have an obsession with sushi. And the first time I eat sushi, like I can't stop eating sushi now because I'm supposed to have a sushi date with my friend. Actually, this week, but that is my point. But you know, sushi is becoming my thing now. I do eat raw sushi, I do eat cooked sushi, but if we're being honest, I actually do prefer the raw sushi. It tastes, it tastes good, it tastes real good. Last but not least, with my turn on, is definitely a fella with a haircut. I'm gonna tell you something, let me break down this. So, fellas who take the yeah, hair growing out, yeah, you know, you live in your best life, you ain't go by the barber, you might be handsome, you know. Nothing is saying, I know, you might be handsome. But for the time you make the appointment and you take that out and you raise that just touch there, you become a little more <laughs> a little more nicer. That's why I say it because at the end of the day, you was looking at a little press. You was looking like you was on the struggles. But you decide to buy the baba and then you, you know, you was looking like a tree and then you went by the baba and you're looking like a eight point five. You know like See what we going on there? Eh? See what we going on there? Eh? So, fellas with the haircuts, like when I get a new haircut, that's definitely a thing for me. Like, I compliment fellas on the road. You walking and you looking good, I compliment you yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, we just give women a lot of compliments, but fellas need some compliments too in their life because at the end of the day, <sighs> there's emotional creatures, but it was the. They were so accustomed masking. They so accustomed masking their emotions and their feelings and things. But we gonna leave it at that. So let we get let we get in tune for the most exciting part of this. My freaking turn offs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. Watch now. We ready. We ready. We freaking ready to talk about we turn offs. Number one, people who don't have manners. Oh, that raised my voice and they stood up. People who don't have manners. Let me tell you something. When I'm walking down here, I try to walk down here to go fit camp. Because if you know me, you know I've been going to fit camp for a while. If you watch my vlogs, you'll see I've been going to fit camp every week. People who have no manners on the road. Imagine I go and jump in a taxi early, early morning and you don't have. Go man, I say good morning, and the car is silent, and all old people, and this is just gonna affect all the all the old people. Just quick to say, man, no people, I know my dad, I know the emperor. Hush up, because at the end of the day, when I jump in the car, I say good morning, good evening, nobody in answering, and all are always quick to talk about what young people do do, what young people does do. That is just bullshit, like you know. Oh gosh, people who have a mana oh gosh. You don't even have to, we don't have to create that friendship, you know. All you have to say is good morning, back. Or oh, not only that, the watching in your face. I, but like, when I go into that thing, I start a path like along a hall. I know this one thing of going right along. Like a kind of walkway to go inside my office. So people, more like traffic, so people let me walk in there. People watching it dead in your face early morning. So you know you're saying good morning and not responding. That's passing shit. I'd be like, you know what I do? I'd be like, hmm, you're watching my more face and even tell them my morning. I was just saying that like when the password, I'd be like, hmm, you're watching my face and can't even say good morning. I get so freaking mad, eh? Alright. Second turn off. People who like to ask obvious questions. I'm gonna tell her something. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her something, yeah? At the end of the day, if you see it, you see something, it visually in your eyesight. Why are you asking about it? Sha Alright, so I put on braids. Ooh, Shanice, you're doing here, girl, you put on braids. No shit, chill up. 
Let me do a photo. I ain't trying to go into too much detail on that one because I'll get so mad. They turn, turn off. People who get vexed with you for telling them the truth, like their truth, like. All right. So one thing I try to be is honest with myself I know my own shortcomings but for some reason a lot of people have no idea about their own shortcomings so like if you come and you tell me something all right I know we're gonna like express that all over the place but if I'm telling you something as a friend or telling you something just to be you know genuine I telling you your truth there eh? I'm not telling you about anything else I telling you about your own truth like about you you want to know about it you get vexed with me. Why you get vexed with me? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I just stated something that you denying. It's simple as that. But no, you get vexed with me. All the tears. All the dirty tears. Shims. My foot turn off. When you see a fella and you have a woman and she watching you hard, hard. hard. First off. I'm telling the lady something. You cannot have a handsome fella as a man and not expect other women to watch him. So one person told me, you know when you see a handsome man and you walking with the girl, watch the man like this and then watch the girl and smile. You know why? Like it's like she education to show well, you know you do something good. You know, congrats. If she read it the wrong way, that is she. But my whole thing is, you have a, you have a nice man. What is the point? What? That don't make it sad. Anywho, moving on. So the next one is, people who can't drive on the road. Let me tell you something. People who can't drive. Let me tell you something. See when somebody had the right away, give them the right of passage. Because at the end of the day, if these drivers on the road are not telling people who drive in years, I know how so to drive. My, how you know I'm driving? Five years now? Five years? I drive in five years now? Wow. And you, but people who can't drive you. All they need to get the shit together, like all they need trying to like turn the economy down on a brain currency. Like I'm not trying to be buying parts of my car all the time, so get your shit together, man. Oh my goodness, like if all I could relate, you know, just like the video, comment under the video because we are three more, we are three more, three more turn offs. The other turn off is people who never had nothing and when they get a little money and been having money, it's like they cast off flex. Alright, that is very cringy to me, right? Alright, they were poor. We understand. We sympathize. You was poor. You hustle, you grind, you make money. I understand. I am happy for you. You been making money, but up to now, like you will realize, you have been making money. You still flexing and showing off and doing the most. Like, uh, look what? No, why? Why people making? And I'm not even trying to sound stereotypical right now. Black people, <laughs> black people. When you come from nothing. It's all, it's all right to be happy, to so be proud of yourself, you know, you make it all right. We understand you make it. We heard, we see you know, make it. We hear it because you're telling me, you know. Oh gosh. Three years now, you still know you're making money. You still flexing and get it like you now make money. You know how to make money. Humble yourself. It's time to humble yourself. Grow to take, grow to take place yet, man. That's really, that's really get man. That's really get man. Or they can interpret it in any other way, but to me, it's like I'm. It's not like I'm not happy for the person, 
But at the same time, oh god, oh god. Second to last one. Fellas who don't understand. <laughs> Fellas who can't understand the word. Well, it's not word, it's words. I don't like you. I'm gonna tell you this. So, what does Gemma vex with fellas? And it doesn't matter what race or whatever. If a girl tell you she don't like you, she don't like you. Half of the time, all that, I understand persistency is everything. Nobody does, who doesn't like persistency? But at the end of the day, half of the time when I get her, she don't like you like that, she don't like you like that. And humble yourself, go by and it's girl. I know it's gamma vex. Yo, if I if I get all right, situation, scenario. You're walking down the road. A man see ya. He might suit ya. You might think up your face. Or you might not say nothing. You need to turn around and tell ya, and this is in Trini style, eh? Yeah, gone so gone so yeah. Well, I didn't even like any first place. You wanna play a boxing style on people? You feel better than people. First of all, five seconds ago, you was now suiting me because they get rejected. You're feeling bad and worse if they're in front of the virgins. It's a whole around total and total kind of vibes. Why we had to be going through that? Why? Because honestly, for me, I personally, if I if I pass on the road and I fell out, say, was he seen impressed? Well, and for some reason, most of the time, all I'm in this heart be like, them young, them young boy my age. Do even hardy belly. You see that old man? <laughs> old man coming full force. I'm telling you, that old man coming full force, Dan. A old man driving a car. And I make this video in my past video. I'm driving a car early morning, suiting me to tell me about my lips. You see my lips from a distance to be blowing your horn to tell me about my lips. Them old men and them. Oh, them are mad at one man. Hello. Alright, so the last and final turn off is people who have an attitude to you when you go at a fast food restaurant and vex like if you come there vex because you come to order food let me tell them something i never tell you to go and apply for that job i never tell you to go and apply for that job i personally don't care if you have a bad day horse i come to order food and i expect it with a smile you have an attitude with me because i come to order food how would that make it sense I, tell, I can remember I go on some way, some fast food restaurant and the girl had a complete whole attitude to me because I come to order food I was like all oh, they are closing at a particular time you know like we do I don't know if your man who on you you find your man texting somebody else your grandma that throw you out because you want to play a whore in the place not my problem all I want is a two piece and fries like so like oh I didn't even ask him for much and I come in nice nice and I say hi good night you know I guess so so normal humble like a lamb but you have a whole attitude with me dad that don't make it sense that don't make it sense anyway so that is the end of my turn ons and turn offs hope you guys enjoyed the video because you know this just bring me back to some of my scenarios that happened in my life I kind of piss more if I kind of make my happy but at any day hope you guys have had a wonderful I talk I'm going to end it like I end the vlog hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoy my turn ons and turn offs don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe to my channel oh let me tell you something subscribe to the channel it's for free you know subscribe how for the watching these damn videos? Why why get violent is what it hey, you subscription is free. Just subscribe to my channel. I am a growing YouTuber. We're trying to get to our 1k. I left thousand subs this year. I, I just saying this year we could grow more than that. 
before they don't subscribe oh you know go ahead and then turn on somebody need to turn on or the post notifications every time i upload so all will be aware of when i upload so i'll talk to you later and we go okay mm, mm, mm. all right i'll go ahead. <laughs>